Hey what is going on guys, Cryptos from Cryptic Wasn't here and today I am going to show you how to get a free VPS server for Unturned. Now the hosting I'll be using is Volta, this is actually my very first host and is a very good company that hosts cloud services. If you can see here they serve in many different locations all around the world and in general is very very good. Now if you use my referral link you will get $20 free credit for one year and essentially all you have to do is either use a credit card or PayPal. If you use a credit card you won't get billed at all, you only get a authorization fee of $2 and then they will automatically refund it back. If you use PayPal however you must deposit $5 but an extra $5 would be available for credit. Now once you have successfully registered and received the credits of what you paid for either by paper or got for free using credit card, what you're going to need to do is go to ISO. Now I will be providing a link for the ISO with a specific driver you're going to need which is already installed. We are going to be using Windows Server 2012 64-bit. Now I've put the link in the description so once you open up you just want to click download. And you'll be redirected to this site over here. And you can right click copy address and paste the URL here. Now all you have to do is click upload and the download will automatically start and it will be downloaded by their website so it should be fairly quick only take like 5 minutes or so. Now once you have done that and you can see our ISO file successfully uploaded and available what you're going to do is click on the plus button which is deploy the new server. Once you're on this page, you're going to need to select which location you want the VPS server to host on. Since I live in Australia, I'm going to choose Sydney. And you want to select custom ISO, you can also choose other ISO as well. So I have uploaded my Windows server, so I'll select that. And your server size or plan. Now, as you can see, it shows an hourly rate. This means if you run the VPS server for let's say 3 hours and you chose the $20 per month plan, if you times 0.03 per hour, that's how much you're paying for. So you can run this for half a month and only pay for half a month. Now you can choose any additional features, you can enable DDoS but currently it's unavailable in my location. And you can choose whatever host name or label you want. I'm just going to use this as YouTube. As, and you just want to click deploy now. Once it is deployed, as you can see, the status says installing. You just want to wait about 10 minutes or so and refresh your page. Now once it has finished installing, you're going to have to wait an additional few more minutes to get the server booted up and loaded the windows inside as well. Once you have waited a few minutes, what you're going to do is click on the view console button and a pop-up will open and as you can see I have brought to the Windows 2012 R2 installation. What you're going to do is click next, install now. And then you're going to have to select the second option, server with a GUI. Or just click it next. Accept the license terms and you want to click on the custom windows only. Now what you're going to do is click on load driver, browse and then open your CD drive, expand the vert.io, expand the win2k12 
and click on AMD 64. Click OK. Now what you're going to have to do is select all of these, click next and wait for the drivers to be installed. Once it has finished installing, you can now see your hard drive and your allocated space you have. Just click next and Windows will begin installing. Once it has finished installing Windows, you can now type in the password you use to log in. And all you have to do is click send or delete. Type in the password you used. And uh, you basically have your own personal computer. Now you just want to click yes. And then a server manager will open up. It takes some time to load. Once it has successfully opened, you just want to click configure this local server. And what you're going to do is click on a remote desktop, allow remote connections to this computer, and click Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Now, since this is a VPS server, all ports are forwarded. However, the firewalls will be blocking the ports, so you're going to have to open them. This is really simple and all you have to do is go inbound rules, click new rule, click on port, next, TCP all local ports, next, allow connection, next, next, and I'm just going to name this TCP. And the same thing you're going to do for UDP, all local ports, next, allow connection, and UDP for this one. And the same thing for outbound rules, you want to click new rule, port, next, TCP, all remote ports, allow connection this time, next, next, and then this TCP, same thing for UDP as well, allow connection, next, next, and UDP. Now you have it, all ports are now forwarded. I just want to close out of this and click OK and click apply OK and also what you're going to do is turn off the Internet Explorer Enhanced Security OK now that's it for configuring the server now as you can see this is a evaluation so it will only last 180 days for you but for me it's already expired now you're going to want to exit out of this and go into your search on windows or whatever you use type in remote and you can see remote desktop connection so i click on that and you're going to want to type in the ip of your server so my ip is 43.32191 and 162 click connect and the username will be administrator the password will be whatever password you set for the windows vps click remember me if you want and click ok and click don't ask me again for this and you want to click don't ask me again for connections to the computer click yes And there you go, you have successfully connected again, this is much more easier and responsive. Now there you have it, you have a VPS server and you can install Unturned, I'm not going to show you how to install Unturned, there's plenty of videos on how to install Unturned servers. All ports are forwarded so you don't need to forward the ports. And VPS servers are running 24-7. So basically you don't have to run them on your computer which they will take out resources. You can also upgrade the VPS if you need more power. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
and make sure you use public photo link as that will grant you 20 dollars and that is a limited time only normally it will be 10 dollars credit hope you guys enjoy see you guys next time